good afternoon everybody so yesterday in line 9 i was telling you the aquatic device used in ninth line terribly transient feet so there is alliteration also because it is starting with with t ta sound and terribly transient feet there is also an a transferred epithet so what is an epithet a phrase expressing the quality of a person or something qualifies a noun other than a person or thing it is actually describing meant to describe another noun in a sentence that is transferred epithet and synecdoch is also there okay what is synecdoch part representing a whole or vice versa the feet is representing total a human life you can say okay so it is a part of a human body representing the whole life so life is transient temporary not the feet okay now i am going to explain you the second stage of the poem yesterday i was telling you the first stage in the first stage what is there uh, in the first stage in between line 1 to 9 the poet is describing about her childhood days and in the second stage mother used to i mean talk with the poet about her childhood days means she is talking with her daughter who is the poet her daughter shirley tolson so let's come to line 10 to 13 some 20 30 years later she would laugh at the snapshot so 20 30 years later when her daughter was born and was a, uh, she was around 20 30 years sorry she might be around 40 42 years yeah and her daughter may be a child at that time then she would see this snapshot i mean photo frame and used to talk with her daughter she would laughed also by seeing that photo photograph and what she was telling to her daughter see betty and dolly she would say and look how we were dressed up for the for the beach the sea holiday okay so she would tell her daughter that she would the, uh, she, she, she along with her cousins their parents were lov- very lovely and they would dress up for the beach and go to a sea side to enjoy their holidays with their parents or guardians you can say uncle and she would laugh by okay now let me explain line 14 to 15 okay the sea holiday was her past mine is her laughter the poet is telling what the sea holiday was her past she was feeling so innocent so happy by seeing those photo of her childhood that photo of her childhood and to the poet her laughter is a past because as her mother is no more with her she cannot see her mother's laughter so both rai okay now let me uh, tell you the figure of speech used in between line 10 to 13 one enjambment is there okay some 20 30 years later she would laugh at the in between first and two line in between second and third line is also enjambment in between third and fourth line i mean when i took 10th and 11th line 11th and 12th 12th and 13th line there is an enjambment what is an enjambment when the thought line continues in the second and there would be no full stop or a pause or a comma in that line okay now let me define enjambment if you don't understand okay i will define later okay just wait so i was talking about the figure of speech used between line 10 to 13 enjambment is there and uh, in between uh, line 10 11 11 12 and 12 13 rest there is no figure of speech in this one okay now let me explain you line 14 15 so the sea holiday was our past mine is a laughter that i have explained now let me see the figure of speech in between line 14 and 15 yes 
labored is oxymoron is there what is oxymoron when two contradictory or opposite words are used side by side labored is okay labor for that you have to work hard is means quite easy so two contradictory words are used side by side okay both rai with labored is of loss okay means both are very sad in a pensive mood and they cannot get over it okay because it is a human life human has to pass one day now let me explain you line 16 to 19 now she has been dead nearly as many years as the girl lived and of this circumstance there is nothing to say at all it silence silences so let me tell you the figure of speech used in this line uh, in between line 16 to 19 okay silence silences alliteration is used paradox is there what is a personification is also there personification what is personification uh when some non living or dead is referred to as living it silence silences and paradox is there what is paradox part what is a paradox let me tell you paradox it is a re- rhetorical device that is made up of two things and seems to be impossible or but actually possible or true they at least sound reasonable not nonsense this statement is a lie example i am telling you this statement is a lie statement won't be a lie the person who is a, uh, saying a statement will will wise fool to contradictory word i am nobody hai na truth is honey which is bitter truth is honey which is bitter these are example of i mean paradox are rhetorical